Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and this time I'm in, I think I'm still in Wiltshire. Am I still in Wiltshire, You're Mark? Still in Wiltshire, yes. Mark English is with me. Here he is, the delightful Mark English Hi, everyone. from Tales and Travels on YouTube. And you've brought me here, especially because this is a place that you are particularly interested in. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful village anyway. It's a village it's a... of Aldbourne, Ald, A-L-D-B-O-U-R-N-E, Aldbourne in Wiltshire. And it has a television connection. It does, yes. I mean, this was the location, for those who are sort of classic Doctor Who fans, this was the location for the 1971 John Pertwee story, The Demons, which is a very well thought of and well remembered uh, episode of the series. And they filmed over a sort of a period of about sort of three weeks over here. Lots of location shooting, helicopters on the on the lawn, all the villagers also, some of the villagers took part in it as well as extras. And Gosh. it's just, um, it is a wonderful, wonderful location. We'd better go and have a look, yeah. bit of a walk around yeah, and have a, a look then, little, shall we? Little facts about the, uh, about the show. Yeah, no do. So here is the village green with the church in the background mm -hmm. there. Do we know what church it is? I think it's at St Michael's. Lovely. St Michael's. Beautiful I will church. double check that actually in case I get it completely wrong. Well, <laughs> and this marvellous green, is this the green where the so-called helicopter? Yeah, the helicopter landed here in the episode, in episode three I think it was. And there was the maypole. Uh, they had a maypole which John Pertie was uh, strapped to. Um, For what reason? Uh, to be killed. Oh, okay. By, 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 by the master, played oh, by the... Roger Delgado, who oh, was, yeah. but he was in disguise as the vicar of the uh, church as Reverend Magister. Ah. Reverend Magister. Um, Unit, United Nations Intelligence Task Force back then, they were involved. And they Is that the one with the brigadier? With the brigadier, um, and they all sort of camped in the pub. Oh, the pub the behind pub, me. The pub, the blue boar. Here we go, the blue boar. But, it's a beautiful pub. Yeah, but in the Doctor Who episode, it was called. Can I show you this? Yes. The Cloven Hoof. That's what it's called in the episode. And this, this, there was a sign like this. This is obviously a replica. A sign like this was actually put up where the blue boar is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, let's have another look at the uh, pub. I should say it's just about to rain. Yes. We haven't picked the best of days to come no, here. Apologies. Um, but that's only by happy stance than anything else. So here. Is the pub behind behind me? So, into your car. Some, some clown has parked a car in the way. Oh, who do that? I don't know. Let's have a look at the pub properly. The blue ball, and it, it's a beautiful old pub, as you can see, made of stone and um, coloured with paint. There, with these beautiful tiles on the bot on the on the roof, not on the bottom. Uh, very simple looking pub, but very. Um, it looks a very homely, lovely, mm. local pub, yes. doesn't it, for local it's very people? Nice. I've been there a few times over the years. Yeah. For us some eat, some eateries. Eateries. Yes, yeah, it's very nice. Um, so let's carry on with our little mm -hmm. stroll around yes, this rather magnificent um, village. So we're walking up now, and there's more. I mean, the, the, what's nice is this. I mean, it's, you can see why uh, anybody would want to film yeah. here because it is um, very televisual, as an archetypal English. Mm -hmm. um, village because I mean, it's all round the square and the yeah. houses are unspoilt and there's barely any road markings or telegraph pole well there's a telegraph pole there but the, very unspoilt yeah. i mean the director christopher barry wanted as many locations for the serial as in close proximity as possible so there was, time yeah exactly so there's two yeah. three burial mounds up the up the top right a short walk to um which they use for the barrows in in the episode uh, obviously wanted a village green to land a helicopter yes. uh, and obviously St Mary's Church with a lot of the action takes place although the, all the interiors obviously were at BBC Television Centre yes because um, they wanted also they also got slapped actually because a lot of the action takes place um, in a crypt right okay but they couldn't call it a crypt because the BBC guidelines at the time so they called it the cavern oh. say. they thought crypt would be too sinister oh. for a 6.40 in the evening BBC audience how extraordinary yeah let's just have a look at some of these other houses yeah, then very nice houses this is a particularly lovely house here, very long house, all one by the looks of things, with some wisteria around the frontage. Beautiful, so immaculate. You'd have to be pretty well off now, I think, to live in a village like this, like so many villages. Mm -hmm. And this goes up to the, the barrows, you say. Should we go and have a look at the church? Yes. So if those who might be familiar with Doctor Who, um, that classic Brigadier line, chat with wings there, five rounds rapid. <laughs> Were they able to kill the no. deep? No. No. Ooh, it's made of stone. All oh, right. So the bullets just bounced yeah. off. Yeah. Which is a bit of a shame. I'm going to just come around here. Course, so, yes. you. so we get to here. see a bit more of the uh, the green here. And uh, I guess that's the war memorial, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Yes. Which um, yes. I noticed you had your photograph taken by with yes. the church in the background. Yes, yes. A little posy shot there. 
homage. Yeah, so let's, homage. Uh, let's have a look up at the church. Absolutely um, picturesque and on a lovely day, of course with more light, it would look even better. Yeah. But let's have a gander at the tower. There it is, quarter to four as we yes, film. Michael's church was right. <laughs> and I can feel raindrops. I'm hoping mm. that we don't get any on our lens. No. And apologies if we have. Can we go in the church? Do you want to go in? I have a look in. Interesting Quick. fact, Ed, when they did the conclusion to the movie, uh, sorry, to the episode, uh, the church blows up at the end. Sorry, spoiler alert, the church blows up at the end of the story. The church blows up at, at the, the end, end of the, the story. Yeah. You can't go around no, blowing up the church. Obviously, it's a model shot, right. but the BBC got so, quite a few complaints saying that they blew up a church for the sake of just a television series. They not, didn't realise it was not a model. I mean, it even in 1991, it looks like a model. Yes. But yeah, they got a few. Although the church was standing, <laughs> this from local people as well oh, as we were around. So you've blown up our church. Yeah. Yet yeah, actually it's still standing. Shall we go in? Shall we go quick, in? Yes, quick, poke, a quick poke. A quick poke. New doors, but here is the old door. Ah, preserved. Yeah. Yeah, don't break break anything. See if it, it, it will actually open. It looks like a, a very Saxon door, doesn't it? Saxon entrance. And quite big. Here we go. Very beautiful church, a high chancel arch up there. There's very little light, and then in the background, yes, they've got the uh, the cross illuminated. It's rather rather nice, hmm. but uh, yeah, we could probably spend much longer in there, but we don't really have the time, unfortunately, and we're also losing the light outside. But you get a very brief idea. Um, beautiful church, two aisles, big nave, massive. Look at this, actually. You've got to look at this. This is the bell tower, which we saw from outside. Just pan the camera up there. See how tall that is. Colossally, that word. I don't know that it is. <laughs> I think I may have made that up. And look at this. Look at this funny little thing. Oh, it's this one of the original fire engines in the village. Let's just finish off the uh, mm -hmm. the village before we blow up. The yes, church I think. Again. Yes, definitely. We don't want to do that. Okay. No. Oh, I, I yeah, there, yeah, please do. Yes, sir. No, they're back to these these set of doors, which must make uh, a big difference in just keeping yeah, the preservation a bit. Yes. And what a lovely view coming down here, other than your arms. Oh, it's raining a bit heavier. Oh dear. It's just come down. What a, an absolutely archetypal view of an English village. That's why, I think that's why the, the director, Christopher Barrier, the Doctor Who story, chose this. He was very much interested in archaeology anyway. Oh, was he? And he was looking around Wiltshire for Barrows or somewhere near Barrows, uh, burial mounds, and this presented itself. It's so It's so yeah. lovely. It really is. You know, even if you don't come here for the Doctor Who connection, yeah. just the oh, fact, no, I don't come just the fact that it's an, English, yeah, it's an English, village, yeah. Yeah, English village, you know, it is so beautiful. And also during the Second World War, uh, Easy Company, were based here, American uh, paratroopers were based here. Curious name, Easy yeah, Company. Yeah, Easy Company, yeah. Those who watched game, uh, Band of Brothers back in the late 90s, a lot of that was on shot on location here because oh, right. of the connection, yeah. So not just Doctor Who here, other, no, other yeah, things. Yeah. yeah, I don't know it's been used for much more. Um, we're sort of running out of time. There's one other yeah. thing, isn't there? I'll, I'll just quickly show you the heritage plaque if you want yes, to see let's that. let's have a look uh, at the heritage plaque. Give we you come down, information. We're coming out of this bit, which is sort of set back from the main road. Yeah. This would have been working, a working village, a Absolutely. working men's village, yes. working women's village. Oh, the irony of yeah. it all. Yeah, and now all these cottages that women would have lived in, or work, um, no, working class families. Yes, yes, and that's so probably now, Commuterville. Exactly, Commuterville, yeah. In Swinton and what have you. So we're coming down to, to the main... Oh, I said the Crown. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken... High Street or oh, Main the, Square, here we go. The police box. There's, let's have a Rubbish quick. bin. That's nice, isn't it? There's yeah. a police box here, the TARDIS. Its connection. That's pretty, pretty cool. And finally, then finally, the plaque on the pub here. This is the other proud. Oh, and there's the a crowd. Dalek. Yeah. So, uh, easy look. company. One hundred one Airborne. Easy steady. Five hundred six Infantry Division, USA, known as the Band of Brothers. So they really were here. Yes, they were really here. And obviously, Stephen Spielberg, when he did his series Band of Brothers, all based on. He, did he film it? And he filmed it. Yeah. Too, so. No, this was used as a location. Yes. Well, Mark, let's come back um, into the into the uh, middle bit just so we get a bit of scenery behind yeah. us and say nice pond there as well. Actually. Nice pond. Uh, thank you very much <laughs> indeed welcome. for taking me around Allborn. Sorry, it's again another whistle stop tour. 
but um, if the heavens are about to open yeah. and we're going to get soaked. So I suggest we get back into I the TARDIS so, yes. and fly off. Oh, very good. Yes. Very good. Let's do that. Yes. So, uh, can you do your TARDIS impression? No, but you've got a sound effect you might be able to put in. Uh, I haven't got one handy, so I'll just have to do it live. Yeah. Till next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.